In today's solo gameplay video, I try to escape H.H. Holmes Murder Castle. Can I do it? Let's find out. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another gameplay video, another special solo gameplay video. And today I'm very excited to be checking out H.H. Holmes Murder Castle. This is for 1-7 to seven players with the box that I have. It's taking about 15-20 to 20 minutes per player, and it's for ages 14+. plus. And in this game, I am trying to get enough evidence against H.H. Holmes and escape through the pharmacy, which is where I am right now. Now, I've played one game solo before this, so hopefully things should go pretty smoothly. I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit nervous because I got my absolute face just pummeled last game. It was to the point where it wasn't fun. It just felt cheap. So I'm hoping that that was just an anomaly. It's not going to happen again, but let's try it out. So what am I going to do on my turn? It's really quite simple. I'm going to take two of these actions right here. Now you have a selection bonus down here at the bottom because it has kind of Puerto Rico rules where if you're the person who takes it, then you get to do a bonus action. However, in the solo version of the game, that is Nix. Also, I am this person right here, Abraham Fitzsimmons, who normally would have their own special abilities, but since I'm playing the solo version, of the game i do not we have everything set up let's just get into it and you'll quickly learn how the game works so the first thing i would like to do is i want to and this is how i'm going to mark it these are actually like hidden things that i'll be utilizing but for right now i'm just going to use them to select my actions so i remember to use two actions every time so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to explore the castle which means i am just going to place a castle tile into one of the connected doors we got right here and i have the back room i have to connect it door to door so we will do it right there and we're going to place three pieces of evidence in there and they have to be from this particular area right here and in order to win i have to fill up all these tracks right here and in the pharmacy and at this state of the game i'm kind of needing all the colors so i'm just going to go ahead and bloom 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 put those three in there right there so my first action explore the castle my second action will be to move up to two rooms but honestly i'm only going to move right there to the back room and now my turn is over it's actually really quite clean and clear and now it's going to go to Holmes's turn because his goal is to try to murder my freaking face and if he gets all five of these little black tokens right here onto these five spots right here he will win the game and I will lose because that's how things work now I cut myself so uh on his turn he's going to reveal one of these large cards first Holmes is on the move move Holmes to 25 five door room now luckily that is not actually out we would check to see if it's out it's not out which means he's going to stay right here but we're also going to draw one of these little mini baby cards right here too and plant 10 pieces of fake evidence so fake evidence are going to be these black cubes which have their own special bag let's see we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and these are going to make it harder for me because i have to collect evidence against him in order to win the game and we're going to put them into this bag shake it up and we'll get back to that a little bit later so that was actually a pretty solid first turn that was way better than any of the turns i took last game so i have high hopes that i'm going to be able to win here so let's take these two pieces off and i am going to collect some evidence i'm right here and i will take one piece of evidence and we'll take this blue one right here bada boom and then we're going to go ahead and explore another room so explore the castle bam we'll put in another tile and we have holmes's apartment and i don't like this for table space <laughs> i was hoping we wouldn't have any issues with table space but it looks like we might so one piece of evidence is going to go right there and now i get to take another action and you know what i'm actually going to yeah i'm gonna go there i just have to it just makes sense i move one room oh no no no! that's it that's all i did i explored and i collected evidence oh i actually cheated there so I could not move on to that spot. And now it is Holmes's turn. So he's going to draw one card. Holmes goes on a rampage. I haven't actually seen this card, but I know it's one of the worst cards in the game. Draw three additional Holmes movement cards. All players in any of the rooms listed on the next three Holmes movement cards must take a Holmes strikes. No event cards or abilities can be played to prevent a Holmes strikes during this rampage. All right. So we got, he moves to the maze. Okay. We dodged that bullet. One. Holmes is on the move to the laboratory. We don't have that. Two, we dodged it. And boom, the maze or the black closet. And we're in the black room. We're not in the black closet. And we're actually fine. Holy moly, this is going way better than the first game. I am very pleasantly surprised. On the second turn, I had already been hidden twice by him. So 
this is booming, but let's see. Lock an unexplored door. So what that means is he is now going to lock one of these doors. Now I'm not actually sure if we can lock these doors, but I think so. Let's go ahead and we're gonna place a padlock on that because you know what? I, I don't think he can do it because it's a spot where he is and this door is open. It's already open. Whereas as you can see, all the other doors are already closed. So I'm pretty sure we're getting super lucky here. I do like this. So what do I want to do? I want to get the heck away from him. So we're actually going to move one space right here. And then we're going to collect one piece of evidence. And that will be our entire turn. And I'm not even going to set out the things because you know, one to move, one to get the evidence. And now let's see what Holmes is going to do. Beggars can't be choosers. The basement, the sealed room, the guest room, or the bathroom. He's going to go to one of those. Now, if I'm not on any of those spots, he will actually go to the one that is closest to me. Whereas normally in the multiplayer version of the game, I would get to pick where he goes. So the only one we have is basement number two because we don't have eight, 11, or 18, which is great. That actually moves him further away from me bam baby get the hell away from me lock an unexplored door once again there are no unexplored door here we are getting like the luckiest draw ever going on right now now i need to check my camera real quick to make sure that this is actually in camera and it is delightful all right so we draw we're going to explore the castle and hopefully it's the hall again are you kidding me it's a room that doesn't turn so we're actually going to cheat for camera purposes and we're going to get ourselves one oh that's the bathroom okay yeah that's the bathroom we'll put it right there and it's going to get us three pieces of evidence and that's actually kind of perfect because the hall also had three pieces of evidence so either way oh this stinks so since there's only one cube here we only put the one cube right there and then this thing called the gondola moves over and then we're going to draw five new pieces of evidence but now one two three four five we actually drew one of the fake pieces of evidence which will eventually have to go out and it just sits there and doesn't help us at all so we have explored a new room which got us there and then we're going to just going to move because yeah we need to keep moving and that's our turn let's see what's going to happen holmes is on the move he moves to the back room or the hanging secret chamber aka four or 17 which means boom he's going to go right there and he is we can see each other through the doors i left the doors open Whew, okay okay and what else is he going to do destroy one piece of evidence so he's going to destroy one piece of evidence here which now takes us to the destroy evidence cards right there we draw one it's a wild which means he's going to destroy that one right there now i'm also pretty sure whenever you get a destroy evidence wild card you might uh you shuffle them all back in but i don't actually remember <laughs> and we're just going to roll with it because i doubt the game is going to last that long that i would actually run through the entire deck i might have just made that rule up I read, I read the entire rule booklet, both multiplayer and solo, just in one get-go, and it was a lot of information. But I do feel like I'm ready to teach it on game night, which is always a good thing. So, next, we got to keep exploring the castle, and hopefully it sends me down, because I'm worried about camera space. And it is... Oh, the sealed room! Ooh, ooh, okay. So this is rough. This is rough. But it does get four, which is great. Bing, bang, boom, boom, boom. But yeah, those are all sealed entrances. Yikes. So we're going to have to... Okay, and then we're going to move in there, obviously, because we got to get that oh-so-delicious evidence. Let's see what he's doing. Beggars can't be choosers. He can go to the 4, 9, 17, or 26. 4, 9, 17, or 26. He's in 4. 26 is right there, but it's actually further away, so he would not move there. But then I don't actually know, because I would imagine... I imagine he would just stay there because that is the closest to me. And I also want to mention that you can bump up the difficulty on this game, but I have everything set to the easiest difficulty, and that would actually put some different cards down in here and do a couple other various different things. It adds some of these uh, negative black cubes at the beginning. So what's going to happen next? Plant 15 pieces of fake evidence. Okay, okay. Whew, that's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. I'm a fast counter, or I just lied to you. I don't know. It might have been 14, might have been 15. Who cares? I play fast and loose. But now we get to explore all this delicious evidence, but unfortunately we only get to take one piece of evidence. So we collect the evidence, and we will take the green, because that is currently what we are the lowest on. 
We need to get five of each in order to win the game. We haven't been stricken yet. Now, I'm going to take another action. I think it's time to start drawing some event cards. So let's go ahead and draw an event card. And you can hold up to three event cards up here. So let's see. Destined for success. You were on the right track. Place this card. Uh, place Play this card to add three pieces of evidence from the gondola position facing the unloading zone to a room you occupy. The number of evidence cubes cannot exceed the number indicated within the safe less any pieces of evidence that may currently exist in the room. Okay, so I can't go over four, but that means I can just stay here and get all this evidence, which is great, as long as Holmes doesn't come and murder my face in. So, let's see. Move, he's going to go to the dumbwaiter. That's fine. We haven't unlocked that. And move into two rooms using doorways. Ooh, ooh, this is not good because we can't actually go through him. So we're kind of stuck until he attacks us. Unless, of course, I can get a, an event card. Because I bet there's some event cards that will let me do some fancy dancy stuff. So let's... You know what? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw... We're going to... We need to get evidence. We just need to get evidence. So we're going to draw this white piece of evidence. That will be our first action. Second action, let's draw another event card. And hopefully it's a good one. Trap door. You may immediately place a trap door under any evidence within any room. Place the matching trap door zone in any other room of your choice. All players that collect evidence after the trap has been filled will fall through the door to the room where the landing zone is located. Note, once all evidence is collected, the trap is removed from the room. Oh, darn it! I should have done the trap door first, and then I could have trap doored away from Holmes, but we can do that next time. C'est la vie because he's probably going to come punch me in the face. Holmes is on the move. He moves to the number 13 blind room, which is not out. Okay, don't move, Holmes. Don't move. Don't do move. Just stay in there. Stay in there. Holmes, seal all hidden bookcase pathways. We don't have any of those yet, which means we are in money. We are in luck, because playing a trapdoor is not actually one of our actions. So we are going to play a trapdoor, which are these cool little tokens right here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And we're just going to... You know, we would normally place it down here and the next person to use it would would deal with it. But since we're going to use it right now, uh, we're not going to do it. We're just going to essentially just teleport to wherever the heck we want to go. So I'm going to take this orange cube on the way, which means now we are one cube away. Uh, we are one one of the colors to what we need to be. And then I'm actually going to have a trap door boom all the way down to the... I want to go to the basement. The basement is dicey. I think we're going to fall down to the pharmacy. Bloop! We're going to fall down to the pharmacy. We're going to move some stuff over here because we are going to be expanding our castle. And then it is Holmes' turn to go. What's he going to do? Holmes is on the move. He goes to the basement or the sealed room. Whichever one is closer. Ooh, good thing we got out of there. But oh no, he's right there. And we draw one more card. We draw the little mini baby cards. Move into one room using doorways. Oh, I hate you. All right, so he is here. He is he is messing with us. And so what happens when he gets to us? We're going to take one of these black cubes, and he strikes. Home strikes, which means we're actually going to lose minus one, then minus one, minus two, minus two, minus three pieces of evidence. He knocks it. We drop the evidence because we're so scared of him. And uh, we'll, do, we'll take the orange out. So this one goes back into the bag, and we really need to get out of here. So we will go ahead and explore the castle, draw ourselves a new tile. The Asphyxiation Chamber. No keep event cards can be played while in this room. And we will place that right there because we have plenty of room to play it there. And blada boom, we're actually going to go in there. But man, five cubes. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I almost forgot this Trap Gord Tour event has been played. Okay, so what's going to happen? Holmes is on the move. Move to the secret room. Tell me you're getting away from me. You are not getting away from me. The secret room is not out, which means... Oh, uh, destroy up to two pieces of evidence. And there's no evidence where he is. Goody, goody, gumdrops, baby. All right, so let's collect some evidence and get the heck out of here. We need the green, so we'll take one piece of green evidence, and then we are going to place a new room right over here, the five door room. Ooh, so we have entered the second story. Now this is part of the expansion. So I wanna make sure I do this absolutely correct. Collect evidence, then move to basement number three. Oh, wow. So yeah, I definitely want to check the rules on this one. So what does that even mean? So the five door room, and luckily they lay it out real nice and clean and clear how all these different tiles work which is good. They have like a whole explanation about each and every one of them. The five door room has a total of four doors with a built in and mandatory trap door for anyone that collects evidence in this room. Ooh. 
Okay, okay. So first thing we're going to do is I should not have put in the five right there. Should I have? I cheated my face off. The orange one should have been the only one that actually goes there from here. Ooh, good thing I noticed that. So that should actually go there. This gondola should then move, and then we should get five more. I'm glad I noticed that. And that actually means there should be nothing there because I collected a piece of evidence from there. Oh, yikes. <laughs> so, so much for staying in there and getting a whole bunch of stuff. And we have another one of those black cubes that stink. So two pieces are going to go into here. Boom, boom. Collect evidence, then move to base. So I, I don't have to necessarily go there, but that, that's not actually bad. That might help me run away from him, which I kind of do like. So we have explored, we collected one piece of evidence. No, we've, oh, this is why I need to put these on here. We explored, and now we are, yes, yes. So we explored, and now we're going to move up to two rooms, and we will just go right there. And now we're on the second floor which means we're going to start placing some second floor tiles on there. And that's really just to help you figure out that one room is not connected to another room, but it adds some more extra rooms in the game. And I think all the second floor rooms are kind of have their own unique quirks like this one right here. So let's see what Holmes is going to do. Beggars can't be choosers. Either going to go to the maze, the blind room, uh, five, 13, 14, or 20. What is the closest one to me? None of those are out. So, okay, he's not going to do anything, but now he's probably going to come punch me in the face. Fake, fake, man, more fake evidence. 15. Okay, starting to get a lot of fake evidence. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Boom, fake evidence into the bag, into the bag with you. But that was good for me. He didn't do anything to actually hurt me, so I will collect some evidence. But if I do that, that's going to knock me down all the way to here, which is then a big problem because he will then be able to... Oh, then he'll be able to do whatever he wants to me. But you know what? I'm actually going to explore... Yes, I'm going to explore the castle because now the tile that I put right here will actually be on the second floor, which means they will put a padlock here, which means it won't be connected to the pharmacy because it's on the second floor. And sure enough, the room of the three corpses, and we're going to place it right there. And so he can't get there, and that's going to get two pieces of evidence. We'll put the blue and the green. Actually, we need the yellow. So now we actually kind of need to be looking at the colors. And I'm not going to use the trapdoor area. I'm going to move one space right here. And then we're going to see what Holmes is going to do. So this game is going substantially longer than the other games. So 10, 10, 16, 11, or 17 he's going to go to. Which, oh, that's great. That's great. Go to the bathroom. Holmes has got to go poo-poo. Which means he is super far away from me. So I'm going to go to the room of the five corpses. And I am going to loot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So then we actually have to do the mini card. Don't forget the mini card. Move into one room using doorway, so he's going to go to the closest path to me, which means he's now in Holmes' apartment, and we're going to collect evidence first and foremost, get ourselves that yellow. That's great. It's a good start. And then I think we should draw event cards, because I kind of just want to chill here. So, gas fixtures. Welcome to my perfect castle. Holmes activates the gas fixtures to every room in the castle, and all players are knocked unconscious. Every player must discard one of their... Oh, event cards! Oh, I can't... They're bad event cards! I didn't realize that! Dang it! Well, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. That just makes the game even more difficult. So I'm going to lose this card, and I lose one piece of evidence. Man... All players are not going to cut. Every player must discard. Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't. Okay. I just uh, just lose an event card. So it didn't actually do anything too terribly negative. Oh, it actually did because I wanted to replenish this room back up to three. Oh! All right. Holmes is on the move. 9, 28, 29, 15. Where is he going? None of these are near me. Nine. I don't think we have any of those out, actually. 9, 15, 28, 29. We are good. Let's see what Holmes is going to do. Move up to two doorways, boom, boom, because now he is on the second floor, and he is going to try and pummel me. Oh, we should have put the second floor token on that. And we continue moving on. I'm going to take this yellow cube, which means we're now, haha, -ha, ready on the yellow. And I'm actually going to move all these tiles over here, because we are running out of space. Which I thought might not happen because I thought it was, I, I, I'll be uh, quite frank with you, I thought it was going to get my face stomped in once again. But I feel like, you know, all six of them, they're relatively straightforward. Now I could try moving homes. 
to get away from me. Hmm. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, let's try moving homes. So we draw one move homes card, and he is going to the basement or the room of the three corpses, which is great because, yes. Wait, no, the room of the three corpses. <gasps> no, that's where I am. Wait, 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 wait. But there's a special rule, special rule. Why did I have to tempt fate here? Why did I have to tempt fate here? Because when you're playing in the solo version of the game, if you move homes and he goes to your spot, you don't actually get struck by him because you are technically choosing it. Yes, unlike all the other action tiles, only the player that selects the move, uh, homes must move to a room revealed on the homes movement card if the room has been explored. If there are multiple room options, the player who selected the move homes action to... If there are not any rooms available... Yeah. If Holmes enters your room, you evade Holmes by escaping to an adjacent room using connected doorways. So, whoop, I just oopsie duped him. Okay, I don't think it's really going to help because I think he's probably going to murder my face in this next turn. But, he bought me a turn. All right. So now he's going to go 4, 6, 8, or 13. So, what's the closest one? 4, 6, 8, oh, it's actually all the way over here. This is great. So, yeah. Pretty happy with that. And now we do this. Move into one room using doorways. So he would go right here. He's chasing after me. Now I'm deciding if I want to use, if I want to fall into the basement. Because he's right there and he could easily come down there and pummel me. Hmm. No, I think we're going to explore. So explore first thing. We got ourselves the secret room. Oh, okay. And this is on the second story. So we once again are on the second story. So now it's technically the third story, but you don't mark it or anything like that at all for gameplay purposes. It's just considered the second story. And yeah, we got that going on there. And that's potentially going to go up. Oh, this key is really cool looking, but you only, it's the first player token. <laughs> so, but I wanted to show it to you because it looks cool. So four random from the bag are going to go in there. Cool. One, two, three, four. And we didn't get any of the bad stuff. That is good to go. And I'm going to collect one piece of evidence right here. And now our green is full as well. Boom. Okay, we might actually win this game. I was not expecting that. Lights out. The castle goes dark. We shuffle all cards in the Holmes movement deck. Okay. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Because that means that he's not... Getting closer to me, at least with this deck right here, and I will take that. Bam. All right. Shuffle it back up. Do this. Does this one... Uh, I, I want to double check real quick in the rules, because I'm wondering if that also reshuffles that one, because it has specific things that you need to know when you're playing in the Autonomous mode, and sp certain cards will do certain things. All right. Trap door, Holmes has learned its secret passage, move up to two rooms, lock an unexplored door, destroy one piece of evidence, destroy all pieces of evidence. No, I don't think it does. I think we just reshuffle all those back up once it gets back to that. So, now we flip over another tile and destroy all pieces of evidence. Ha ha, you're in the pharmacy, there's nothing to destroy, and we are money right now. We are doing real well. So I will take a one piece of evidence as the first thing I do. And then we will explore. Oh, actually, we're gonna position this just like that because I, I'm more. I'm worried about camera space. You know, I totally was worried about camera space because I mentioned it before. And these would actually connect because it is the second floor. I'm pretty sure. So this, since they're both second floor, this will connect to it. But it's a hall which has three pieces of evidence. I like it. I like it. Yes. One, two, three, and we. Oh, 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 oh! I drew him for the bag. I need to stop doing that. That's totally cheating. <laughs> so. Boom, those five go over. And if we only had two, then we'd only put two there. But I think you already knew that, because I think that happened a little bit earlier. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we need to get ourselves blue and orange evidence, and we win this, and there's one blue right there. Yes! So that was our two actions, though, right? We took one, and then we explored one. So we are done, Zo. And what is he going to do, Zo? Holmes goes on a rampage. Draw three additional Holmes movement cards. All players in any of the rooms listed on the next three movement cards are going to take a strike. So, basement or sealed room, we're good. Secret room, oh, he hits me. And then, beggars can't be choosers. All right, so he's going to hit me once, but I don't believe he actually moves there. Movement cards, 
Draw three additional Homes Movement cards. All players in any of the rooms listed on the next three Homes Movement cards must take a Home Strike. So no event cards or abilities can be played to prevent a Home Strike. So he's not actually moving there, which is good, but he is going to whack us, which means we're going to have to lose one, but we can just lose the yellow because we know we can pick up another yellow, and that is awesome. All right. What's he going to do? Destroy up to two pieces of evidence. Oh, we're getting real lucky right now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yellow piece of evidence. Bam, right there. Second thing I'm going to do is I am then going to move boop, into the hall, which should not have this orange. I don't know where this orange came from, so we'll put it there. And there we go. Holmes goes on another rampage. You suck, Holmes. It's a second story rampage. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I think it's just because it's uh, the expansion card. Who knows? So reception or blind room we're in the hall so we just need to look out for the hall that's all we need to worry about is the hall not in the hall not in the hall not in the hall Brr, it's in the hall i hate you homes all right so now we're going to lose another piece which means we're going to get rid of the yellow and green because luckily we can replenish those in the hall but that means we have to draw event cards and i don't even want to draw event cards but they could be good most of the time they're good i believe most of the time they're good so first thing we're going to do we did that we destroyed uh we did the rampage Oh, yeah, we did do the Rampage, which means now he's going to draw another one of these. Plant 10 pieces of fake evidence. Not that I think we're really going to get to these, because as I mentioned, we're pretty close to either winning the game or getting murdered by Sherlock Holmes. I don't, I don't think it's Sherlock Holmes. I think it's like... I, I didn't actually read the flavor text. I'll be brutally honest with you. I was reading the gameplay. I didn't read the flavor text. I don't know why we're Holmes. I don't know why he's murdering people. But hey, I'm assuming he's just got a crazy sick thing where he likes to solve mysteries, but he's actually really good at solving mysteries because he kills other people. Let's keep going. All right. Uh, I need to get these three tiles. So we're going to take the blue first, and then we will draw an event card, and hopefully it's good. Hidden bookcase pathway. If you found a hidden bookcase pathway, place the hidden bookcase pathway orthogonal across any two rooms to create a new door to a room. Note, these cannot be used to connect rooms to brick walls. These are able to be used to connect rooms to any room on any level. That's really good, which means we could potentially... Okay, so we're going to hold on to that. We're going to hold on to that. And then we get back to Holmes. What's Holmes going to do? Holmes is on the move. Dining room or the guest room, which is 10 or 18. And he is not coming anywhere near us. Boo, yeah. And then we shuffle these little tiny mini baby cards back up and see what happens. So while I do this, I'll give my honest thoughts so far. I don't think I'd play it again as a solo game. I just, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. I don't feel like it does enough. But as a good way to learn how to play the base game, I do like this. I think it's going to make me much more confident and comfortable teaching the game later on, which is always a good thing. Destroy up to two pieces of evidence. Wow, we're getting so lucky with those right now. So let's collect this yellow piece of evidence and draw ourselves another event card. And that is our two actions. Outwit. Throw Holmes off your track. Remove a home strike cube from your evidence board. <gasps> what that's really good i'm not even gonna mess around i'm not beating around the bush we're just gonna get rid of that right now that might have won us the game hopefully all right so we just outwitted him bam let's see what he's gonna do he's gonna be mad i know he's gonna be mad he moves to the pub or the atrium 28 or 29 i don't think we have either of those good deal good deal and then let's see don't move don't move moving up to two rooms so this is from the first floor. Oh, so we actually should have placed a lock token right there because that you can't go through there. So he's going to go one, two. He is chasing me. That's a bit scary. But luckily for me, I can oopsie doop and place that hidden pathway if I really wanted to. Hmm. Oh, no, he can't go there. Oh, there's no there's no door. You can't go there because there's no way to get there. So that's just a locked door. That's why it's there. All right. All right. All right. So, oh, that one's also a locked doorway as well, because there's no door there. So we moved up to two. I'm going to take the green cube. Obviously, I'm going to take the green cube. And then I'm, I think I'm going to take another event. I think we're good. Or I could move homes. I could move homes. Because it might get him further away, which then could allow me to use this and then get down here because I need the blue and I need the orange. That's the plan. We're going to move homes and moves to the pharmacy or the white chapel suite because that's right there and that actually is kind of what i wanted which is great so now he's going to move to the 10 16 11 or 17 which none of those oh beautiful oh he's gotta go party again bam that's perfect okay 
Okay, we're in money. I think we might win this. So we're going to move up to two rooms. Boom, boom. We're going right here. We're going to collect the evidence and we'll collect the orange one, which means, whoa, who will fall down to basement number three, which is perfect because in basement number three is the blue cube we need. Yeah, baby. All right. So, Holmes, what you going to do? Move to basement two or the ale pub. You son of a... <laughs> That's not the card we wanted to draw. And let the whacking commence. Plant 15 pieces of fake evidence. You know what? I'm just not going to do that. You and I both know we're not going to get to that fake evidence, so I'm just not going to bother with it. Because he's... I, I just... You know what? We'll do it. We'll play it out the right way, but I'm not even going to... I'm just going to try to draw 15-ish. You know what? I'll just do it. I can't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... That was 15 right about. So he's not where I am yet. The basement does have one more spot, which is cool. We'll take the blue cube, which means now if we could escape, we could win the game. But unfortunately, we can, oh, we can move homes. We should move homes. That's our only choice is to move homes. So yes, we're going to move homes. Come on, get out of here, homes. It's not our only choice, but it's the best choice. The black closet. Tell me this is one that he can go to. The black closet. No, we don't have the black closet out. Oh, the maze of the black closet. Neither of those are out, which means he is now going to draw his own card. And, oh, but he has to go somewhere else. Basement. No, are you kidding me? Basement number three. Come on. Come on, game. Slap me in the face. I am going to have to lose two. But that's okay. I can lose. The yellow and the white, which means I can, the orange and the white, which means I can still pick those up along the way. Okay. 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 It's doable. It's doable. I'm going to move. One space. Obviously, pick up the orange. That's our whole move, and we're going to hope, hope, hope. Come on! Don't get me! Don't get me! He's going to basement one. Come on! Come on, man! Oh, but we got our trap door! We got our hidden bookcase! Okay. So we do have to draw the one right here. Come on, come on, come on. Destroy evidence, destroy evidence, destroy evidence. Don't move, don't move. Move into one room using doorways. I hate you. <laughs> so we're going to lose two more pieces of evidence. And my hope of winning has just, just all but disappeared. I just don't see it happening. But we'll play this out. How do I get, how do I get what I need? Okay, um, so the plan, I think, is to get this white and then to drop into here and get green and then this white on the way out. So we're going to lose one white and two whites. Is that it? We're going to lose two. Oh, we can't. Oh, and one green. Okay. Okay. It's doable. It's doable. First thing we want to do. We got to get out of here. So we're going to place the hidden bookshelf pathway, which we've been using as that. And bloop. And that's something he doesn't know about. So he will not use it. Yes, awesome. So then we will move one space, and then we'll collect evidence. And remember, using that card is not our action, so that is fine. And then let's see what he does. Holmes, he moves to the waiting room. The waiting room, also a spectacular Andrew W.K. song. Nope, all right. Uh, did these get mixed up? I think these got mixed up. How do these get, oh, boop, boop, there we go. So, what's next? What's next? Come on, don't come at me. Don't come at me. Destroy one piece of evidence. There's no evidence in there, and we're good. Okay, okay, okay. So, we got a shot. You're saying there's a chance. So, we go one, two. We're going to draw ourselves another event card. Or I could move another room, because you have, there's a two, move up to two rooms, and then a move up to one room. So, yeah, we actually will. We'll go there to the green room, and then Holmes will move, and he will move to 9, 15, 29, or 28. Uh, do, 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 do. 9, 15. I don't see any of those. We might have just lucked out there a little bit. Yeah. He's not moving any. So we're going to collect... Oh, but when we collect this piece of green evidence, we're going to fall through. So we shouldn't collect it yet. We should move... Oh, wait. Did I, did I do that wrong? No, yeah. So we do destroy all pieces of evidence. Once again, there's no evidence here. We're going to move one, and then we're going to collect this piece of white... And then the secret room. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. We collect that green. It'll knock us down to the basement. We're good right now. So, he's going to go to 2, 11, 8, or 18. None of those are... So, he is... Whichever one's the closest to me is going to go to. So, right now, he's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there. 
And this is one, two, three, four, five. So it's five and five. So I actually get to decide where he goes. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So we're going to send him out to the bathroom, which is great. I think that's how that works. Pretty sure I didn't even cheat. Destroy up two pieces of evidence. Normally we'd have to, uh, look at that, but he's going to destroy this one because that's all. Oh, no, no, no. I think we do still flip a card. And I don't think that gets destroyed. Not that it's really going to matter because we're not going in there. So I'm going to go one space, collect the green evidence. Woo! And then I'm going to fall back down to the basement. And as long as he doesn't come get us, we're going to win. We're going to win. So he's going to basement number two. You so... <sighs> he goes to basement two. He plants 10 pieces of fake evidence, which I'm not even going to bother with because you know it's not going to come into play. And now we have to move him. So the first action we do is we move Holmes with our first action. So come on. Moved him to the asphyxiation chamber, which is 19. Oh, that's actually great because that's there. And then I'm going to move two spaces. One, two. And as long as he doesn't move into the pharmacy, we're going to win this next turn. Holmes, he's moved to the black closet which I think is out, if I recall correctly. No, we have the black room out, so the black closet is not out. If he destroys evidence, we win the game. Move into one room using doorways. Oh, so he's in the pharmacy. But that's all right, because we can still move him with a move home, so that's going to be our first action. And he's going to go to 21, 25, 22, or 24. Tell me one of those is out. Tell me one of those is He is. He's going to 20. Wait, none of those are out. No! None of those are out! We have 25 out! Ugh. So close. So close! Wait, oh, 21! 21. 21 is out! Boom! Which means we go one space, and I believe we have won the game. Take that, Holmes. So there you go. That was M.M. Holmes Murder Castle. Overall, I like it. I think it's good. I don't think it's great. I don't think I'd play it again. Just because... You know, I don't know. It had some quirks. But as a solo game, I don't I don't know if it's necessarily one I would go back to. I think this is going to hit its stride more as a multiplayer game. That being said, I am kind of excited to play it as a multiplayer game. Because there's even another mode as well where you can control homes. And it comes with this cool little weird board where you're going to be placing stuff on here as well. But hopefully you'll see a thought from the corner on this one coming very, very soon. Because I have a feeling this one's going to get played on game night. Because the solo taught me how to play it. But there you go. That is H.H. H. Holmes Murder Castle. If it looks like it might be a cup of tea, be sure to check this one out. If you're enjoying it, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below, because currently I'm panhandling in my basement without a job. And in the comments below, let me know. What is your favorite uh, favorite tile-laying game where you end up... Let me rephrase that. Your favorite game where you draw tiles and then play tiles. Because that is... Wow, that's a lot of different games. Oh, uh, am I going to say Carcassonne? No, I'm going to go with Delve. I really like Delve, which is like Carcassonne Plus. It came out from my buddy Pete, so I am a little bit biased. But that one came out from... It's not from Simon. It's from Indie Board and Cards. It came out a couple years ago. I think it's a really underrated game that I like an awful lot. If you like Carcassonne, check out Delve. But let me know in the comments below what is your favorite tile game. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.